let me go into the next section remote command execution so if you see I have already given uh, a key there I'll I need to change this authorized key in remote server for me to be able to remote execute a command I'll do it like this what I'm saying here is execute this command and then there's a space and the key this I've done in gateway machine now let me try logging in with that same blank key to gateway and see what it does it's not asking for anything it's plainly listing me the no list giving the list of files that were that are there in the gateway machine in slash now how would you know that it is actually displaying the list ls of the gateway machine let's do something else instead of uh, doing it for a slash let us do it for the home directory of root where we have a file with name this is gateway and it says this is gateway so what it does is when when you connect to using this key which has a blank password to this server which which knows the key it first sees the key in its authorized key file and then it says okay there is a command that needs to be executed and it executes this command and it does not do anything else it does not give you shell access it does not allow you to log in it does not allow you to enter a password i mean enter a enter any command or when you command all when you connect to it all it does is this nothing else so this can be used in some kind of automated backup of trigger or triggering some automated scripts you can you can use this thing so that was auto command execution now using inline uh, command uh, now now okay let let's move on to some interesting uh, you know, topic of transparent ssh gateways what it means is let's say i need to from client 